that I was my John Who my John I got like 16 minutes Let's see how fast I walk from here to there The recording says 16 minutes So that's what I said Let's see how long it takes me Well I'm not in a rush You feel me? I'm not in a rush You feel me? <laughs> yeah. yeah you sometimes when you fighting against the grain, oh they got a plan before you get there. They gotta make the noise before you get there. Shit. I ain't get the job yet, but you was fired before you got the job, you feel me? You ain't get it before you got it. You were stripped away before you even got it. You feel me? I was convicted without a crime. You was found guilty without even committing a crime. You feel me? This is what we call premeditated, premeditated hate. They're not even giving you the chance to even prove to them they know what you can do already. That's one thing you don't understand. I'm not even just talking to me. I'm talking to the masses, feel me? That's one thing you don't understand. You have proven over and over you could get the job done. And yet you try to still overcome. You can't overcome something that refuse to acknowledge. You feel me? You just can't overcome anything that refuse to acknowledge. They know you are capable of doing the job. That's why they're not even gonna put you through the trials and tribulation no more, cause you're gonna pass. So what they're gonna do is just plan in advance how they gonna get rid of you. Now you know what? Everything we put in front of this nigga, he conquers. He's gonna pass with flying colors and make us look stupid. I was gonna cross on the other side, but it doesn't even make sense, fuck it. He's gonna pass with flying colors and make us look stupid anyway. So why don't we plan on the exit? You feel me? Why don't we plan on the extinguish, extinguisher? You feel me? Why don't we just plan on that? Because it's like, it doesn't matter how, how hard we make it. We can't make the game harder than what we've made it already. Eventually, when we start making it, when they, they know from experience that they, when they make the game harder, guess what happened? They eliminate themselves. Because you seem to not to get the point that it's supposed to be hard and you keep passing it. So every time they make the game harder, guess what happened? They eliminate themselves. Every time. It never seems to fail. You feel me? That's why when you come around and you want to apply for a job or you want to apply for anything else, and there's a lot of them in there, they're like, no, man. We need, we need to protect that. <laughs> Hold on, let the cars pass. You have to understand what's going on. You just don't seem to... You don't understand your own power. I'm talking to myself. Feel me? If you can relate, God bless you. You feel me? You don't seem to understand what's going on, my G. Because every time you and them is involved and there's a healthy competition going on and it's based on performance to elevate you to the next statics, you seem to want to, you seem to dominate. You seem to destroy the competition. Whenever the playing field is level. You feel me? Whenever there's opportunities out there, you seem to thrive. So they're like, nah, fuck that. Fuck that. Because the rate we going, we, we just going, we, we making it harder. We cheating and cheating and cheating, but that shit ain't, that is like it's working, but then again, he's overcoming it. So what are we supposed to do? You know what, we gonna, we gonna pre, 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 pre-plan. Better pass. We gonna pre-plan, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a extinguisher. There ain't no fire, but they got the holster. You feel me? There ain't no crime, but they got the cops. You feel me? 
they have this shit set in advance just in case it pop off they already pre-planned it's not that they prepared or oh, we are well prepared no you're not i'm only using that voice it's not it's not to anybody i like using that voice imitation is flattery is a, is, is a form of imitation so if i'm if i'm if you constantly see me making fun of how you speak that means there's a liking to me to you i admire the way you speak so don't take it personal as a person, if I start making fun of how you speak, that means I like the way you sound. I love it, you feel me? Because if I didn't like it, it wouldn't even come out of me. Because I despise hate. So it's like if I don't like something, I stay away from me, unlike other people. But anyway, man, this is what they do, my nigga. You ain't even get the job yet, but they planning on your existence. I mean, they they planning on extinguish it, you feel me? They planning, they try, they planning on it. Getting rid of you, I'm like that nigga. The nigga ain't even start yet. You feel me? And if you can relate, you know how it is, bro. You feel me? Now I'm not saying this. I'm just speaking. Now I mean that's what the spirit came to me and told me. So I just had to speak on it. You feel me? And if you, you can even take a look at history in itself. You can take a look at history in itself. You can take a look at my history, you can take a look at the United States history. You can even break it down to race or group. You feel me? Every time somebody comes and start down, hey, let's look at Shaq. When Shaq came into the game and started dominating the game, breaking rims and everything else, what happened? They changed the rules. They changed the rules. It's like, you know what? Three seconds violation. You can't stay in the paint for that long. You're too big to be staying in the paint for that long. Plus, we gonna make the rims a little tougher so you don't have, you don't get the chance to break the rim no more. So every time when there's somebody that is dominant in a game like that, people seem to change the rules. They're like, it's not fair. We have it has to benefit everybody. But then again, it's at a disadvantage to you. So how's it benefiting any everybody? And these are the things that oh, that's nasty. And these are the things that I go through. They, every time I come around, they change the rules. I'm like, how's that my fault? You feel me? Every time. They pre-planning your this that we can't wait to. And even when you leave, they still, the rule has to be there. Because it's like you left this, a stinge of fear that somebody else could come around and use that. So it's like, nah, we have to maintain these rules. We have to maintain these rules. Let's take a look at, um, let's take a look at the, um, what do you call it? Who else uh, changed the game the way they changed the game? Well, the best example was Shaq. <laughs> the best example. If you take a look at football itself or any other sports. I'm just using sports because everybody can relate. You feel me? Or you even take a look at business. Every time we come around, when I say we, I'm talking about individuals who can relate to me. You feel me? Every time niggas come around, guess what? They change the rules. They have to change the rules. Some some outright break the rule. You feel me? They just break that shit. It's like fuck it. We gonna break this rule. No, you know, you know, you're not gonna get a fair trial, nigga. What's wrong with you? Don't you see your abilities? You a cheater. I'm like, that's my God-given talent. No. Paces. See a wolf? <laughs> Don't you see my God giving talent? Is my God? No, you we at a disadvantage to you. <laughs> Word up, like you niggas need to understand what's going on. Feel me? They pre-planning. Like they pre like you feel me? They have to. They can't compete with you. So they have to plan in advance. They have to make things up. They have to put things in your way so you can slip them forward and then be like, look. You feel me? This is the things that they have to do just to maintain some form of sense of victory. You see it for yourself, my nigga. Every, every avenue that people like myself and others. When I say myself, I'm talking about mentality. You know, just a different kind of animal kind of nigga. You feel me? Whenever we induce, we're in these fields, rules tend to be broken or changed or alternated. So they, 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 they cry for everybody else. Like, no. Even if you go into business, they be like, hey, shit, man. They about, they about to work hard and take out. No, no, they got to go. Nope, this, they got to go. 
sweating like a pig, trying to work hard. Man, we don't need to be working that hard. We just want to earn. He got to go. You feel me? Because you just don't get it, my nigga. You feel me? I'm talking to myself too again. Oh, wow. It took less than 16 minutes to get here. It don't even take that long at all. This is why they plan in advance. This is the reason why it's three days out and they still plan in advance to make sure that you don't get a cab to go somewhere because they know your schedule and everything else like that. You have to understand what's going on. This is not by mistake. You feel me? This is on purpose. It's deliberate. They have to do it like that because they cannot compete with you. Fairly. It cannot be an open opportunity. No. Because they see you as a physical freak. Like he's a, he's a freak. He got nine lives. They start making up all these kind of things that don't even make sense. The nigga is human. Stop it. <laughs> he's just determined. You feel me? Like niggas trying to, they trying to overcome niggas. They try to go back to the hood and look at other niggas in their face. <laughs> you feel me? We just trying to overcome. We ain't, we ain't trying to hear your sad stories. You feel me? So every time we come around, and I said we, emphasis is on the we again. I'm not talking about just people that look like me or speak like me or are in the same class as me or from the same city as me. I'm talking people with the same mentality as me. You feel me? Every time we come around, people get uncomfortable because they know that our ability and our determination the things that we are motivated by, the way we push ourselves is different from everybody else. You feel me? They just, they just like, you get out of here. I'm like, yo, what the fuck, nigga? You know, yo, yo, nigga, you're a first generation American. You sound stupid. That's like me telling some, that's like me being that ignorant and telling somebody to get out of here. I'm like, nigga, hmm? You gotta snap out of it. You feel me? But anyway, man, because they are, they're petrified. They, every time you come around, you have no sense in the way you operate sometimes. See, some of them have this, they sense put limits on how much they can lift. They sense put limits on how far they can go. They sense put limits on saying things. You have to put in 200% just to get to a same point. So your sense of limits is not even in, in existence. You just go, feel me? Because you know you gotta put in at least 300% just to be recognized. So you just go, you put everything in. And they know and they see this. They're still not, still not acknowledging you, so they can't stand you. They can't deny you. So they be like, nah, he gotta go. He gotta go. Leave. Leave, because you're gonna have to, we gotta raise our performance. We gotta raise our standard of thinking. We gotta raise, we gotta raise expectation. We gotta, people are gonna expect, behavior gotta be expected, so you gotta go. You feel me? Understand what's going on. And that goes for anybody that can relate, man. If you're smart, you know. Feel me? Look at Tiger Woods on the golf. Man came in to change the whole game. Feel me? Jackie Robinson, baseball. Feel me? They changed the rules. They had to. You can't still base like the way you used to still base no more. Because when y'all both were still in this, like, but when you start stealing better than they do, they're like, nope, change the rules. Change the rules. That's going to be the name of this video. Change the rules, man. Or alternate the rules. Feel me? Should be sad, bro. You know, you already know when I'm on these parts, I got to speak very calmly. It's too early in the morning to be yelling. So y'all got to bear with me. Bad with me. I walk with your nigga. Talk with your nigga. I can't be shut down with ski masks and folk. You feel me? <clears throat> you hear the noise. I see their face. I just want to go buy some little bag, something like. Feel me? I ain't planning to come back out. Change the rules, my nigga. Cause every time you come around, they gotta change the rules. Tupac said change was gonna come. I didn't know that kind of change was gonna come. They changed the rules, they changed their behavior, they changed who they are. 
It's a whole lot of change that comes to going. Once you change the rule, you change the behavior of the game. What time is it? Yeah, two minutes. Feel me? So don't be surprised when you see people start acting different because the rules have changed. So they have to ch it change. It changes with the character. It changes with their belief. You feel me? It changes the how they conduct themselves. Everything changes. Feel me? It changes. Feel me? Everything changes. I have to understand these things. Shout out to Carrie. No, that's my bitch. <laughs> Shout out to more Karen. She crazy. I like me a crazy bitch. Yeah. They got control.